Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. My name is Michael Castor and I'm a product manager here at Yaskawa Motorman. And today I am at a top secret location at our, our, our USA headquarters in Miamisburg, Ohio with a brand new robot. So this is the Yaskawa SG650 Scare robot. And uh, it's a very fast robot, it's some, one of the fastest in its class. We also have an SG400 robot, which is a little bit smaller. So that's a 400 millimeter reach robot. Um, equally as quick and also one of the fastest in its class. So this one has a 650 millimeter reach and that's a reach radius. So to get the diameter, you just multiply it by two. So it's gonna be 1.3 meters of reach on this guy and 800 millimeters of reach on the SG400. So you'll notice that scare robots look a bit different than the traditional uh, six axis robotic arms we usually show. And that's just by design. So scare robots, um, uh, are compliant in the XY planes, so they can move this way and this way, no problem, and also up and down. So by design, they're very simple. Um, this allows them to be very repeatable. So this one, the SG600 or 650 and the SG400 have a repeatability of 0 0.01 millimeters, so very small amount of, uh, of space there. So very, uh, very tight repeatability on those. Um, but it's also very rigid in the Z direction, since it's only compliant in this way. So this allows both the robots to output a force of up to 150 newtons in the Z direction. So that's about 34 pounds of force that they can push straight down. And that's the same for the SG650 and also the SG400. So uh, as far as pushing or assembly or um, insertion goes, these robots are very well suited for that. And also, uh, scare robots, while not as fast as a Delta robot, like our MPP-3 series, you can see they don't require a lot of support. So the MPP-3s require a big overhead structure to hang the robot overhead. This can be mounted on a post or a, a riser or a e equally height of your, the, an equal height of your conveyor. Uh, so it, t it takes very little footprint to get these in operation. So not as fast as, a, uh, as an MPP-3, but still going to give you plenty of quickness for your operations and also a lot simpler and faster than a traditional six axis robotic arm. So a good, just a very good middle ground in a scare robot. So payload wise, the 650 can, re can uh, pick up six kilograms of payload or move around six kilograms of payload. The SG400 can do uh, three kilograms of payload. So plenty of capacity there. Uh, they are also both IP20 rated robots, so good for cleaner manufacturing environments. You don't want to get these in situations where there's tons of dirt and everything. But if you're doing assembly or manufacturing, you probably don't have to worry about that too much anyway. Uh, Utility-wise, we have one 4 millimeter airline that goes from the top of the robot to the base, and also two more 6 millimeter airlines that go from the top of the robot to the base. We have an I.O. cable also up here. And that's 15 conductors plus one ground, so you can get plenty of utilities going through the robot. The Z-axis, or also called the tool wheel, is hollow, so you can put your utilities right down through. So this one, airline, connectors going down through, right to the end of your tool. Um, and uh, then it's a one wire connection from the robot to the controller. So it just takes one wire to hook it up, and that's all your servos and sensors and everything in there. It's one wire connection. Of course, your I/O is going to be a different connection to go to, to go to a uh, your peripherals, but you don't have to worry about that as much. Um, option wise, so this is compatible with our MLX 300 package, and that allows a Rockwell PLC to control the movements of the robot and do your programming. So, you get, so if you're familiar with uh, ladder logic. And using Rockwell PLC, you don't have to learn to use a robot. You can just use that um, same programming methodology to program the, uh, the SCARAs or any of our robots compatible with MLX 300. It's also compatible with MF FSU, which is our functional safety unit option. Um, also, can do track picking parts off conveyor. You can do that no problem at all. It will track the conveyor and just act like it's not moving at all and pick your parts off. Uh, also, Modisite 2D, so you can do your, your 2D vision, so you can do part detection, pick it up in the center of mass and move things around. So no problem at all with Modisite 2D. And there's even a pendant app that goes with it. So you can tweak your point, make adjustments right on the robot pendant itself. So a very good package for that. Uh, Application-wise, 
this is their scare robots are very well suited to assembly, uh, like I mentioned. Also dispensing, if you're going to lay down glue or uh, anything like that, good for that. Uh, pick and pack, so taking parts off a tray, putting them into uh, like a, or taking parts off a container, putting them into a tray rather. So pick and pack, pick and place, um, kind of the same thing. They're right into a box. So very, very quick operation. Uh, we think you're going to be very, very happy with this robot. Uh, we're very excited about it. So since we usually talk about six-axis robots and you're familiar with that operation, I thought I'd go ahead and jog around the robot and show you how to operate one of these. So I have it in joint uh, motion right now, so it's just going to move the joints individually. So we're going to turn our servos on, and we'll jog it in the S direction, which is the, the lower, um, lower axis, axis of motion. We'll also do the center axis of motion here, and this is the L, L axis for us. We can move it back and forth. And then we'll do the Z, and that's going to be the up-down stroke of the tool quill. You can see it moving around. This is a ball screw tool quill. It's a very fast operation on that. And then we can also rotate the tool quill as well, so you can get the, your rotation. I can also put it into um, our tool coordinate, and we can move in the XY plane like that. And again, our Z axis goes up and down as usual. Now to showcase the speed of this thing, um, this is not a collaborative robot uh, at all. So there's no, uh, there's no collaborative sensing on this. It's just gonna go full speed. It's meant to be in an enclosed environment or with plenty of uh, sensors and things on it. Or no, it's plenty of safety equipment around it. So not made to be uh, right next to people. So what I'm gonna do is back away from it like this. I'm going to put it into play mode, and I'm going to show you this thing in motion. we got our servos on. You can see just how fast this thing operates. So I'm standing a couple feet away from it, and I can actually feel the air coming off of it. So I hope this can come across in the video, the sheer speed of this. And this is just a simple demo job that uh, the guys in the lab came up with to showcase the speed. We're let it run for a bit here. If you have any questions about this, feel free to shoot them into chat, and I'll address those at the end. All right. I'll go ahead and shut it back off. There we go. Let me jog it back over here so you can get a better look at it. If I turn my servos on. Maybe. There it goes. All right. So, do we have any questions about the uh, new SG650 or the SG400?